Well, happy weekend to you. Thanks for hanging out with me for just a couple of minutes as we stay connected with what is happening here at St. Paul's United Methodist Church in Ocala, Florida. Uh, my name is Jeremy Knight, and I am blessed to serve here as the pastor. And so from wherever you're finding us, whether you are a member of our congregation, someone from our community, or connected to us through our incredible preschool, uh, we're grateful for you. Uh, just a couple of quick reminders. We've got some special Sundays coming up pretty soon. Um, not this Sunday, but next will be um, the UWF Sunday, which will be led by our United Women in Faith, an incredible, incredible group of women who have a wonderful time together, but also grow in their faith and also are engaged in mission and, and lead our church in many, many ways. And so we're grateful for not only honoring them and their work, but allowing them the opportunity to lead us in worship. And so that'll be on the 28th. I hope you'll be here for that special Sunday. Um, and also, uh, we have an important meeting right after that Sunday for any and all people who work with children and youth. So if you are connected to children's ministry, if you're connected to our youth ministry, if you are connected to our preschool, scouts, any of those type of things, um, you're going to be expected to be here after worship for probably about 30 minutes for our yearly mandatory uh, check-in regarding our policies and procedures here. We take very seriously our roles and responsibility to keep our children and youth safe. Okay, As a United Methodist, it is uh, imperative that you understand that we have very, very um, substantive and very, very important policies that help guide us and give us direction to keep everyone safe. And so part of those policies is each year we have to gather together and make sure that we're aware of those policies. And if anything has changed for those policies, I, as the pastor, have to inform you. And so that annual meeting will be at noon on the 28th. And so if uh, that concerns you, you need to be here. We want you to be here, spend about 20 or 30 minutes with us as we revisit some of those. We don't have any changes or adaptations to make, but we, we do have to check in and make sure that we're available to you if you have questions. Uh, the following Sunday after that, May the 5th, is a special Sunday. Here we're going to observe Servant Sunday, where we're going to be reminded um, and learn more about ways that we serve in our community and just remind ourselves that that really is the product of our discipleship, that when we draw closer to the heart of God and we seek to follow in the way of Jesus, that moves us to serve, uh, that Christ came uh, not to be served, but to serve. And we, seeking to follow in the way of Jesus, are called to be servants as well. And so we hope you'll come. Very special Sunday, and we're going to hang out afterwards and have a meal together. You'll be hearing more about that and the details that we need your participation with to make sure that we're all well-fed that very special Sunday. That's the first Sunday of May. We hope you make plans to be with us. A little bit about worship this week. We're going to be visiting another text that many of us are familiar with. We heard from the Good Shepherd text this past week, and now we move a little bit later in John's Gospel when we hear the beautiful imagery when Jesus says, I am the vine and you are the branches, and that my Jesus is Jesus speaking and my Father is the vine grower. And so we're going to really kind of lock into that imagery and talk a little bit about what it means that we um, are the branches of the vine. And what does it mean that the vine where we find our uh, nutrients, where we find our dependency, where we find our life in this particular passage is identified as Christ himself. And what does it mean that God is the vine grower, the one that... Uh, creates and manages and tends and prunes back and even removes the things within us that don't belong. And ultimately, we'll ask the question that at the end of the passage says that all of this imagery is so that we would bear fruit, so that we would produce something that our lives, because we're connected to the vine and because we allow the vine grower to prune us, we actually bear fruit. And so we'll revisit that beautiful text this Sunday in worship. I pray that you can come and be with us. Uh, 10.30 a.m., of course, here in person. And if you can't make it, uh, we will be on our live stream at 10.30 a.m. on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. All right? Grace and peace to you all. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I can't wait to see you on Sunday.